Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, some of you guys have uh, asked if I can make some more of these videos. I've tried to change a bit of the features on my face. I can't tell it is. See if you can tell. I made myself a bit fatter in my face. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to adjust it and to try and make it more a bit like me. So, I haven't really been out for, I've even forgotten how many days I've been in from. I'm like, I feel like a prisoner. You know, when you're in prison and you see those movies where they're like, Marking on the wall and writing down one day is gone, two days gone, and they strike it off, five days have gone, and then they zoom the camera out, and it's got like loads of days. And I've reached a level which I don't even know exactly how many days have gone, right? I just like I'm scared to go outside. I'm thinking if I go outside, will I get coronavirus? Will the police stop me? Should I put the rubbish outside? Should I collect it inside? Should I just like run outside or run back inside? So I'm getting paranoid, guys. And I don't know if you guys are getting paranoid. Put in the comments if you guys are getting. Some paranoia as well because of this. So, Alhamdulillah, main thing is I've got enough toilet paper at home. So, I don't think I'm going to be uh, rushing, you know, rushing to the toilet too quick. Um, but besides that, um, I remember when I was in Pakistan, and this just reminds me of uh, something. I think I've told some of you guys this as well before. When I was studying in Pakistan, so basically I used to have a, uh, this, uh, like, Madrasa card. And the Madrasa card was basically... This kind of uh, like uh, you get like offers, you know, like you get in your universities and colleges in the UK, student cards. So this was like a student card. So I, you know, you go to student biryani, you get some like discount or something. You go on, you know, some buses in Karachi and you get some discount on some buses. So me, clever me, guess what I do? I go on this bus and I say to the conductor, I've got a card, so I want a discount. And guess how much discount? From five rupees to two rupees. Yeah. Think about that in them days it was like five rupees was like five pence basically so from five pence to two pence i didn't want to pay five pence i want to pay two pence and the journey was quite good it's obviously you know something like um i don't know how, how long was it? it was about 40 minutes journey 45 minutes journey so you know two pence for 45 minutes journey that's excellent so the guy right he comes up to me and he goes to me show me your card and i'm thinking i can't show you my card because my card has the word british on there and in pakistan if i say i'm british you know, I might get kidnapped and then my family is going to be phoned and asked for ransom and then they're going to have to send money and then I'm going to, you know, come on the news and I'm going to end up with like, this kind of black bag on my head and walking around and, you know, no way, mate, no way, I can't do that. I'm not going to do that. So anyway, what happens? So I go and I uh, say to him, okay, here, take my card, look at it. He takes my card and he reads it proper. And I was thinking, you know, this guy probably doesn't know English. Yes, yeah, okay, you know, he won't read, but he could read. And I was thinking, what? So he says, British? And then he looks at my name, Liakad Zaman, British? And I was going, oh my God, please, please no. And the bus was packed out that day. It was like Friday, hot summer's day, packed out, sweaty. You know what I'm saying? COVID-19 would have just, you know, this would be the perfect conditions for COVID-19. would love to hear, party for him. And so guess what happens? He goes to the driver, he screams at the driver, I was like in the middle, he screams at the driver and says, we've got Liaka Zaman on this, do you know we've got Liaka Zaman on this bus? He's British. And I'm thinking, oh no, please don't say that. And everyone's turning around looking at me. And I'm this guy who's wearing like shalwar kameez, got like topi on the head. I don't know, maybe I had an imam on that day on as well. Scarf on my shoulder, got some like bag of books in my hand. And I look proper, typical, like from village style. Like some guy who doesn't know anything, no English. And everyone like looking at me, staring. And I was thinking, there's probably some crazy stalker here who's probably just going to follow me home and, you know, chop me up in the morning and feed me to, to whatever. So anyway, the guy carries on around the bus, goes up and down. Eventually, the guy at my stop comes. And the guy comes up to me and goes to me, stop the bus, stop the bus. And everyone stops the bus. Like they normally don't stop the bus, but stop it for me. And the guy goes to me, Liaka Zaman sahab, Mr. Liaka Zaman, yeah, he called me Mr. Mr. Liaka Zaman, Mr. Liaka Zaman, he goes, I'm so sorry for having to ask you for your card, and you know, if I have said anything, please forgive me, uh, and, and I said, me, I'm, I don't even want to see, see your face, I didn't say it to him, but in my head, I was thinking to myself, I don't want to even see your face again, bro, yeah, because I don't know if I'm going to stay alive by the time I get back to my uh, hostel, yeah, so thank you very much for, you know, publicizing who I am. So anyway, I quickly got off the bus and just like checking side to side, legged it. Yeah, alhamdulillah, got saved. But yeah, anyway, see, point is, 
these are the kind of things that happen you gotta keep yourself safe don't you and you know you don't want you don't want like uh, some other you know sort of like uh, ending to the story alhamdulillah i'm saved nothing's happened to me but i did have many incidents in when i was studying in pakistan and that's the thing you gotta remember that you know when you go to a new place a lot of people don't when they want to study in a new place or they want to go for a new job they, you gonna have to be expected to face some things that you're not really happy with right i mean you know no one really wants to wake up in the morning and go for work no one really wants to you know put the effort in but it's like yeah either you do that or you're not really going to be able to live a life how you want to live your life so with all of this kind of coronavirus things going on i think it's a perfect opportunity for us guys to be able to you know learn about ourselves learn about our sort of things that tick us that make us angry the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know he mentioned that uh um, uh, he mentioned in a, a guy came up to him and he said to him, Messenger of Allah, please give me some advice. And the Prophet وسلم, said, La taghdab, don't get angry. And he said, No, give me some more advice. He goes, No, he kept saying it to him, La taghdab, La taghdab, La taghdab. Don't get angry, don't get angry, don't get angry. And the point of the, the story was that look, some people have a problem and they don't know their solution. They don't realize the solution for them is the, what they're being told in their face. Sometimes we have problems in our lives. Maybe you've got an anger management problem. Yeah, got to control that temper a bit. Maybe you've got eating problem. Maybe you've got, someone's got to tell us sometimes, you know, you've got an eating problem and we might not like it. Maybe, you know, we've got some, we're lazy in our prayers. Maybe we're a bit rude to our parents or we're rude to other neighbours or friends. Right, you know, we're a bit selfish. These are the kind of things that, end of the day, we want to kind of have these out of our system. Right, We want to identify them, remove them from our system. And that's one of the, blessings of uh, having calamities in your life like, I'm not saying having calamities is a good thing I mean unfortunately you know subhanAllah so many people have been affected by this and financially and health and people have lost lives and I was just seeing this uh, this uh, message going around today of these doctors that they were doing a janaza of another doctor and it's that only two people were doing the janaza imagine that you know we were we we we, we uh, you know pray to Allah that Allah uh, sends us armies of people that pray our janaza but you know, in these kind of situations, Allah knows best what, what's going to happen to us. Yeah, we ask Allah for protection and safety. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, don't want to make it doomy and gloomy, right? Because I know some kids are watching this as well. And as you can see, my eyebrows, if you can see my eyebrows in sign language, I'm giving kids, yeah, I'm telling you guys, make sure you cut down your cartoons, make sure you eat vegetables, more vegetables, cut down on meat. That's another thing. You know, I'm feeling much healthier because I've started to cut down on uh, junk food. Right? Okay, tell I'm not going to lie, but yeah, I do eat like crisps. I'm starting to eat more crisps and chocolates whilst I'm here because I've got this whole stash. Yeah, no, I wasn't one of those guys who was, you know, filling up my trolley. Yeah, don't blame me. So I'm, I'm not one of those guys. But yeah, so that's, that's that's something which I think I need to work on. Maybe just being a bit in control of uh, junk food I'm eating. Yeah, because in, in the week I probably eat maybe twice or three times junk food, which is not good. Even though I do badminton two or three times a week as well now. Psychologically, I kind of burn it all off. So in the comments, you tell me what, what kind of things do you guys think you need to work on? Yeah. Tell me what kind of things maybe motivate other people and how you've kind of uh, overcome your problems as well. Whilst in isolation, some people are going through depression, more anxiety, fear, uh, arguing with their family more. Because, you know, you're with them all day. It's like, you know, putting some animals in a cage. Yeah, they're going to fight eventually. So, Jazakallah khair guys, and uh, I will see you guys next time. And let me know if you want me to change my clothes. Yeah, because I've been wearing these, this suit, as you can see. Yeah, can you see this or not? So, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa